It's a fact that everyone wants to earn passive income. Nobody wants to work for 40, 50 years. Everyone wants to get retired much faster to enjoy grandchildren. I'm not sure if everyone wants grandchildren actually. So let's go to the point. What is passive income? Passive income means that I will relax back and I will scroll all day long on Facebook and the money will just flow in, right? They will just flow in. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And before you get passive income, you need to do some work done. Unless your parents didn't give you 100 bitcoins as a birthday present. Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov and I'm super happy to welcome you to our Trading Academy's channel. In this video, I will talk about how you can earn passive income from cryptocurrencies. And true, it is one of the easiest ways nowadays to earn passive income. But of course, you need cryptocurrencies in the wallet, so you can do it easily from the wallet apps right from your phone. So what is passive income? This means that you are getting rewards of an asset that you own. For example, me recording this video right now won't bring me any profits. Unless one day I decide to use YouTube and put ads in front of the video, maybe by the time you're watching that video this will happen, so at that moment I will have passive income from YouTube, right? Because I have recorded that video long ago and I own this video and I receive rewards from YouTube because there are ads before the video, during the video, I don't know, maybe it will change with the time. Same thing when you build a house or you buy an apartment, at the moment you build it, you're not getting anything, right? Actually, you're spending money. But when you start lending it to people, then you will get passive income. Same thing with the cryptocurrencies. No matter are you mining it or you're buying it from the exchanges, if you stake your cryptocurrencies on the blockchain, you can receive rewards for that. So there are two options here. One is to stake them. The other option is to lend them. And I've already recorded many videos on staking cryptocurrencies. It is possible on different wallets. I personally like to use Ledger, which is a hardware wallet. And for example, there, if I wanna stake Tezos, I need to delegate the rights to a baker. This is how it's called in there. And I will put the video in the description below so you can have a look at it. Or with simple words, I give my cryptocurrencies to the blockchain to make it more secured, more decentralized, to secure the network. And because of that, I receive rewards annually. The other option is to lend the cryptocurrencies and this is possible with most of the exchanges nowadays as well with crypto.com is the one i like the most because there is the earn option and there you can earn income for lending almost all the cryptocurrencies that are available for example with this option on crypto.com i earn passive income from bitcoin and ethereum which is not possible to stake on the ledger because it is proof of work and not proof of stake. And one interesting thing to mention here is that on crypto.com you can stake the Croc coin, which is the coin of the exchange, for a Visa card. So at the current moment they have different options, but if you stake a certain amount of cryptocurrencies, they send you a Visa card. And when you pay after that with this Visa card and you use it everywhere, you get cash back, which is kind of passive income again, because we are spending daily, right? But while we are spending, we get some cash back into our cryptocurrency wallet, which I personally find pretty cool. And in the description below, I will put a link with the crypto.com staking options. So we both can get a bonus if you decide to use it. And I don't wanna go into details about the earnings and the annual rewards on the different exchanges because they change all the time. So before you decide to stake cryptocurrencies or to earn passive income from cryptocurrencies, 
make your research because by the time you're watching this video, the conditions on the exchanges might be totally different. Now, personally, for the moment, I use the Ledger wallet, which is a hardware wallet, and I keep there most of my crypto, and at the same time, I stake some of the cryptos there, and I use crypto.com for the earn option where I can earn passive income from all the currencies that are available. And keep in mind that one of the best rewards comes with the stable coins, such as the USD coin. And crypto.com, for example, at the moment, the reward I think is 12%. So if I had $100,000 to invest, I would definitely like to put them into USD coins on crypto.com and earn 12%. These are $12,000 a year, which makes it $1,000 a month. And the good thing is that with the time, the rewards compound. So for example, if you have $100,000 to stake into USD coin or to earn passive income, from crypto.com, for example, at the end of the year, you will have $12,000, right? Which you can add to a new staking period. And from there, you can start a new period and you will be starting with $112,000 and earn another 12% for the year on these $112,000. I hope this brings you a realistic idea of how much you can earn from staking cryptocurrencies. Now let's make some comparison now. Cryptocurrency staking versus real estate versus dividend strategy. So with cryptocurrencies, as I said, you can earn between 5, 6, up to 12% on your cryptocurrencies a year. And if we take the example of $100,000, we said that at the end of the year, we can earn $12,000. Now, for example, in my country, in Bulgaria, if you want to buy apartments in the capital, Sofia, for that money, you can buy one bedroom apartment, a bedroom and a living room. And if you lend it, then you can earn no more than... 300 to 400 dollars maximum a month which makes it somewhere around five thousand dollars a year all right so this is 50 percent less compared to how much you would earn from cryptocurrencies which makes it about five percent from the initial investment and now if we compare it with the stock dividend strategy i know Many people are using that, especially in the United States. It's super popular. I really like it. It's just not my type of investment. But if you invest $100,000 into stocks, you need to invest them in stable companies, right? That are long established on the market. They will offer at least 5 to 6% on annual basis. And at the end of the year, you will still have above... $5,000 to $6,000 roughly. But here is the kicker. The cryptocurrencies increase their value much more than real estate and stocks. Okay, Tesla and some other stocks did a fantastic growth in 2020, but they don't give dividends. So for me personally, Having the opportunity to earn between 5 and 12% in cryptocurrency staking as a passive income and at the same time having the opportunity to have a fantastic growth by the price increasing in value makes the cryptocurrency the perfect asset for a passive income in the long term. And if you don't have an idea where to start, you can check out some of my online courses below. But a dollar cost averaging strategy is something that you might want to consider. So the dollar cost averaging strategy is when you buy cryptocurrencies on a regular basis. For example, every first day of the month or every Monday and you buy regularly the same amount and you buy regularly the same amount. And I can tell you that I have a lot of students that did that. 
starting back from 2016, 2017, and now in 2021, they have a sustainable amount of cryptocurrencies. But most importantly, they have a better average price when the Bitcoin reaches record highs. So dollar cost averaging strategy is super suitable for beginners and advanced traders. I personally buy cryptocurrencies regularly. I aim to buy the dips, but that's not always possible, of course. Thank you guys for watching. If you have found the video useful, thumbs up, and I'll be happy to hear your thoughts about passive income in the comments below. Take care, and I will see you in another video. Bye.